you know how to set the balls up? <laughs> yeah, I have got a science degree, you know, Tim. to the top. I'm having a great time down the bottom and you keep floating back up. What's your problem? Do you know what? I don't think this is oxygen. <laughs> On your left, Marlborough House. On your right, City Museum. On your left, Hinton Owl Sanctuary. Excuse me? Fishing is murder. Yeah, tell me about it, love. I haven't caught anything all morning. I mean, it's barbaric and it's cruel. No, it isn't. They don't feel a thing. Oh, yeah? Try having a hook put through your mouth and being dragged round a lake. That wouldn't hurt. Would so? No, it wouldn't. I've tried it. You have not? Yes, I have. I did it last week as an experiment. It was lovely. You <laughs> liar. It's true. Oh, yeah? And then I suppose when you got out of the lake, Someone ripped the hook out of your mouth and then bashed your head against a rock. Yep, didn't feel a thing. And then after that, I was taken to the taxidermist, stuffed and mounted in a case in a pub. Oh, really? Yeah, at the time of my life. And the week before that, I lay on some ice, dressed as a seal, and got loads of Canadian blokes to twat me on the head with rounders bats. It was a right laugh! Well, there's no need for sarcasm. Not sarcasm, love, it's the truth. Oh, gotta go. Chase me. <laughs> Welcome to the artificial ski slope. This is your artificial ski instructor. <laughs> Follow him down. Ship's log, Sunday 12th of June, latitude 51 degrees north, longitude 4 degrees west. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough. I'm tired, I'm cold, conditions are terrible. I just want to pack in and go home. I'm drifting with no sails, and now I've got to go on deck and carry out repairs. I hate to think what I might find. OK, in order to win, sir, you need to throw three sixes in a row. Would you like to proceed? Yes, I would. Since I have come into the company of this beautiful stranger, I think luck may be on my side tonight. Six. Six. Three. Good morning, sir. Where have you travelled from today? Thailand. See your passport, please. Thank you. Born the 14th of October. I'm a Libran. Same month as me. Really? What date? 22nd. On the cusp. Can I read your stars for you? Not just now. Thanks. Oh, go on, it's fun. Beware of a tall, bald Libran stranger wearing a blue shirt and carrying a large suitcase full of Class A drugs. I don't believe that astrology rubbish. <laughs> well, we are running out of time, but before we actually go, tell me, Minister, in one word, will your government be lowering taxes? Well, as I've said before, lowering the base rate is a priority for this government, but so is investment in the National Health Service, so I won't be drawn on when it will happen. Where did you learn to count, mate? <laughs> one word, will you be lowering taxes? We have pledged... One word, will you be lowering taxes? I won't be drawn... One word... OK, yes, we will be Just lowering... Just say one word. Right, yes. Happy? That's three words, you can't do it, can you? <laughs> will you be lowering taxes? I just said yes. That's four words. It's getting worse now. <laughs> Will you be lowering taxes? Yes, yes. One bloody word. Yes. When? Tomorrow. Promise? Yes. Transport system? It's better. One word? Better. Unemployment? Bad. You can have two words. Very bad. Hospitals? <laughs> Closing. Education? Cuts. Sex life? Scandalous. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Right, 
as you know, kids don't like cheese. We've all seen the graphs. So what's the solution? We've got to make cheese more trendy. And that's where this fella comes in. Kitty, Lee, meet the cheese ape. <laughs> the cheese ape? Yeah, I went down to the local zoo. I noticed the kids really love the apes. So I'm thinking to myself, ape plus cheese equals money. <laughs> yeah, he lives on the moon and he makes cheese for children. He's got a little cart, a furnace. Tim, you've done this before. This is just the milk owl all over again. Yeah, and the egg dog. The butter ghost. Yeah, the pea giraffe. The gin robot. The trouser snake. No, 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 the cheese ape is different. No, Tim, you've got to get some new ideas. You can't keep taking the product and taking a talking animal and putting the two together. It doesn't work. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong. Sales of bread went through the roof with the introduction of the lovable bread ant. <laughs> Look, Tim, what you should do is go away and work on a proper marketing strategy, not just a cheese animal hybrid. What about a cheese squid? He's got a waistcoat, little pocket, cheese shavings Tim. in it. Sorry, son. I tried. <laughs> well, I have got to pick up the car first because it got clamped last week. Bit of a pain, I know, but it's got to be done, eh? Then I'm off to Joanne's because she's cooking something special for Keith's birthday, so I'm going to get a bottle of wine or two. I don't think Ruth will be there, though, not after what happened last time. <sighs> well, Joanne will never forgive her for that one. She did make a fool of herself and Chris. Can I have a word with Dave? It's the answering machine. Excuse me, sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to keep it down a little bit. Why? Because you're really embarrassing me, darling. <laughs> Come on, it'll be a nice surprise for her. Oh, all right then. It's ringing. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mum! Hi, did you get that? Oh, sorry, mate, yeah. Yeah, no, it was the wrong number. All right, bye. I dialed it wrong. Try again. It's ringing. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Mum! Hello? Yeah, yeah, look, I know you're not, mate. Yeah, OK, well, there's no need for that, is there? It won't happen again. Bye. No, I'll do it. It's ringing. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mum! Hi, Mum! Look, I'm not doing it on purpose, mate, OK? <laughs> well, yes, believe it or not, I'd like to speak to my mother, not you, you maniac. Hang on, I think I know what's happened. Give it here. Dad put mum on. <laughs> I'm full. I think I ate too much. Me too. I can't even finish this coffee. No, me either. Are you all right? What are you, uh... Yeah. Just something I learned at yoga. It helps you digest. Well, do you think you could digest later? I think you're getting in people's way. Yeah, I just really hate feeling bloated. Yeah, well, it's better to feel bloated than look mental. That's what I always say. <laughs> just sit down. Uh, hang on. <laughs> My God, Kitty. Oh, calm down. It wasn't a fart, if that's what you're thinking. That, uh, wasn't a fart, everyone. <laughs> I, mean, I just ate too fast. I gulped a lot of air with my food, and now the noise you're hearing is that air being released. <laughs> Relax. It's just the movement of air. Yes, the movement of air out of your... What? Well, it's not coming out of your ears, is it? It's coming out of your arse. You are blowing air out of your arse, which the last time I looked was the dictionary definition of a fart. You're farting in a restaurant. Oh, and you're shouting. I think someone needs to relax. Have a stretch. Release some air. Stop it. Look, for the last time, it's just air. I'll prove it to you. Put your face down here. You've got to be joking. No, I'm going to prove to you it's just a gentle puff of air, nothing more. No. Fine, hand me the candle. Why? I'm just going to blow it out with my excess air. I'll show you. Oh, my God. <laughs> There you go. Now what do you say? Better out than in? <laughs> I only 
we saw her once again, my flaxen hair had made. She wore a dress and a velvet shawl, and a smile was all she gave. Singing to Ralu Ralu Ralai, to Ralu Ralai. Singing to Ralu Ralu Ralai. Stop, 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 mold wind. <laughs> stop living in the past. We've got to get with the times. If we can't reach the kids, then our traditions will be lost forever. Which is why, for my next song, I would like to do something new. Um, my true love sent me a text message just the other morning when I was on the internet trying to download porn. But each fair maid I clicked on increased my desperation. A sign came up saying I'd performed an illegal operation. What I admire most about Dr. Vine is his optimism. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, now the left leg. <laughs> That's good. Good. Now, lead on me if you want to. Right. You know why we've been hired? It's our job to make politics in this country more sexy. This government's got an image problem. I mean, for a start, where does the Prime Minister live? Huh? Uh... Yeah, exactly. 10 Downing Street. Oh, yes. Boring. But where does the American President live? Disneyland. Yeah, no. <laughs> he lives in the White House. Oh, yeah. Boring. No, it isn't. It's sexy. Listen. The White House. I know. Why don't we call it 10 Downing Street? Yeah. You're missing the point. We need a new name, a glamorous name. I know. Why don't we call it the White House? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, two minor problems I'm seeing there. A, it's not a White House. And B, we might start getting the President's mail. What about this? A, we paint it white. And B, we have a word with the postman. <laughs> what about you focus? Now, we need something jazzy and American, but that still has a truly British feel. Something that says, hey, how are you doing? Have a nice day. But also says, why in God's name are you talking to me in the street? I don't know you. <laughs> something British and American. Something that says, hey, up, Yorkshire pudding. But also says, I've been to America, me, on my holidays. <laughs> no, shush now. Let's brainstorm it. Come on, thinking. Think the White House. Think glamorous. Think sexy. Think... The whole house. No. <laughs> think glitzy. The lighthouse. Think British. The polite house. <laughs> think Prime Minister. The show. No! <laughs> you know, being here reminds me of that famous philosophical question. If a tree falls in a forest and there's no one there, does it make a sound? Mm, it's interesting, that, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Suppose we'll never know. How's the view through the periscope, Lieutenant? Very good, Captain. And the microscope? Nothing to report, sir. Good. How's the kaleidoscope? It's amazing, sir. <laughs> what have you got there, officer? I'm on the endoscope, sir. <laughs> I think I can see a torpedo. <laughs> Excuse me, mate, can I have a look at the sports section? You weren't reading it, were you? Uh, no, that's fine. Oh, thanks. Can I have a peek at the business section? Just a little look. Unless you're reading it. No, I'm not reading it. Thanks. <clears throat> Sorry, is there a TV guide in there? <laughs> yes, there is. I want to see if that dolphin documentary is on. I like dolphins. <laughs> and can I have a little butchers at the health and beauty section? And the editorials? And the showbiz news? I'll tell you what, why don't you just take all that and I'll just read the front page, shall I? OK, yeah. You reading that article there? Yes, I am. Yeah. Won't mind if I read this one here then, will it? <laughs> oh, mm, lovely, yeah. Oh, I love these. 
Oh. Don't have too many of those. You'll spoil your lunch. Lunch is ready. <laughs> And as we wait patiently, we are all very excited to see if we can spot the giant Kukachinku bird, famed, of course, for having the greatest camouflage in the animal kingdom. Let's just hope we can spot it if it does appear. <laughs> and there it is. What a perfect specimen. And just look at that camouflage. Absolutely beautiful. I think it spotted us. And there it goes now, back safely to its natural habitat. <laughs> Welcome back to Legends of Winter Sports. I have Tim Vine with me. So, Tim, what made you take up downhill skiing? Well, I tried uphill, but it was too tiring. <laughs> Has skiing always been your one dream? Not at all. Last night I had a dream about a talking potato. <laughs> yes, but what keeps taking you to the top of that mountain over and over again? A chairlift. <laughs> you must be very dedicated. Not really, just got to sit there. <laughs> but what makes a man like you travel down a steep, snowy slope at 80 miles per hour? Skis. <laughs> Would you say you had a death wish? Yes, I wish to die peacefully in my sleep. <laughs> now, you've come first in every single skiing competition you've ever entered. Is there anything you haven't done? Yes, I've never come second. <laughs> I sometimes wonder what that was like. Always the bride, never the bridesmaid. <laughs> you once described yourself as in a constant state of denial. No, I didn't. <laughs> And you said you were very forgetful. Did I? <laughs> the kind of person who's easily distracted. Is that a boat? <laughs> now, are you any good at ski jumping? Yeah, I can jump over about five skis. <laughs> and finally, have you got any advice for your competitors? Yeah, wear your hat lower and go down backwards. <laughs> Hey, you're, um... Oh, don't tell me. Karen. Yeah. Karen Taylor. You're Lee Mack, aren't you? Oh, that's me, yeah. I remember you. I used to call you Pissy Taylor. Yeah, well, that's right. Because you once wet yourself. Do you remember that? Yeah, but you never let me forget. I used to get in headlock like that, didn't I? Rub me knuckles in your head. Yeah, right in the head used to really hurt. Oh, we used to have a right laugh, didn't we? Oh, you did, yeah. Hey, do you remember that time that I got my mates to throw you in the pond? Oh, that was funny. Yep, hilarious. Oh, yeah. Pissy Taylor. And you couldn't stop crying, could you? Do you remember? Cry Baby Pissy Taylor. Do you remember that song? <laughs> yeah, it was a classic. Oh, how did it used to go? Oh, please don't. Uh, cry Baby Pissy Taylor, always crying, piss, piss, piss. <laughs> Work of genius. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Oh, God, we used to have some laugh, didn't we? Yeah. So, what are you doing yourself nowadays? Well, I work with bullied school children who've been traumatised. Oh, right. So, what first got you interested in that? <laughs> Hey, 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 what are you doing? I'm doing what I should have done a long time ago. You've been telling me to do it for years. The kids have been begging me to do it, and today the doctor damn near insisted I do it before it destroys us all. So you're finally doing it? Yes. I'm disinfecting the sink. <laughs> With vodka? Yeah. The plan is, get the germs drunk when they come up the plug hole looking for a late-night curry. I hit them on the head with this spoon. <laughs> You've been drinking? Just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
What have you got there? The Titanic? Yeah. What about you? Iceberg. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. What's all this about? It's not my birthday. It's a surprise party. What's the surprise? I've been sleeping with your brother. Surprise! And I'm going to give you the sack from work. Surprise! And your parents just told us you're adopted. Surprise! <laughs> Is all this true? Guess what? No! Who winding you up? Surprise! Oh, thank God. So what's this really about? Your test results are back. You've got a very weak heart. Surprise!